Just about everyone can relate to our next topic, snoring. So whether you know someone that does it or you're just told that you do it, it can cause problems for all parties involved. Our next guest, Dr. Jeffrey Hoos from Brush and Floss Dental Center, our style dental expert, says although it can be an annoying problem for the person trying to sleep, it's a health risk for the person sleeping. Dr. Hoos, welcome back. Thanks so much for having well, me again. Good to have you. So let's talk about what's really going on when someone is snoring. What's happening? We have to understand there could be two things happening. There could be something happening in someone's throat, and there could be something happening where someone's brain is telling them, you should snore. So, Dr. Hughes, why go to the dentist to talk about snoring? Well, when it comes to your jaw, the dentist knows best. Okay. But when it comes to your brain, we have to make sure that we get a great sleep study, and we're so lucky that Yale has a great sleep center so that they can do a sleep study there. When you talk about treatment, what can you do to treat snoring? You know, there are actually two things you can do. Remember, there are two problems or two potential problems. Okay. One problem is related to your jaw, okay. and one problem is related to your brain. And you have some ways you can treat snoring, and I know there's some alternatives out there. You brought some pictures. I want you to walk us through what you recommend. Well, what we see here in the picture is this is actually a CPAP machine, a positive pressure machine that helps people breathe at night. Okay, and then we have another picture. So what is this? This is actually a mask from a CPAP machine, and the problem is that this poor person has a great difficulty wearing this mask. Ah, okay, so what do you recommend that in that instance? Well, my friend Harvey. Yes. My friend Harvey. You know, we <laughs> and we're all familiar we with Dr. back from the last show that if we find out that this patient, Harvey, actually has obstructive sleep apnea, we can make an appliance that will actually move Harvey's jaw forward and open the airway so Harvey can breathe better, breathe easier. Yeah. Instead of... It can be incredibly annoying. I have to have my husband come see you, Dr. Who's, because he's a snorer. Joe, I love you, but you got to stop the snoring. But what's interesting is, is that you're saying, again, it's not just annoying for myself. It really creates a major problem for the person that is actually doing the snoring. What happens with sleep apnea, people literally stop breathing at night. And during the sleep study, they can actually monitor that and find out how long. So if you're overweight or even thin, if your breathing stops, you put tremendous stress on your heart. And we uh -huh. don't want that. Also, unless you're breathing properly, you wake up in the morning, you are exhausted. Okay, so Dr. Hoos, what happens when someone comes in to see you and says, I got a problem, I'm snoring and I'm a mess. What are you going to do? What's the, the first step? The first thing we have to talk about is what are they feeling like in the morning? And secondly, we need that sleep study. Okay. We need to know what is actually happening so we can make the correct diagnosis. And will it be different for everybody? It's different. Okay. Every person is an individual. We have to find out what individual treatment that person needs. Okay. Do we have time for one question from one of our viewers, Dr. Hoos? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. We're going to take our first question, and we're going to come back a little bit later and talk about the other ones. But the first one comes from, uh, I'd say, Portia Brown. And she says, is there anything that you can buy in the stores to keep from snoring? Portia, that's really a, a great question. Unfortunately, there's not. Ah. You know, there are these little strips that you can put on your nose that supposedly open your nostrils. Doesn't that work. doesn't do it because uh -huh. it doesn't really work on what's going on in your throat. Okay, so very simple. You, of course, you got to come see Dr. Hughes and he'll take care of you. All right, Dr. Hughes, we're going to catch back up with you in just a little bit. We're talking at, with you at the end of the show. Okay. You're going to stick around? You bet. You do a little kickboxing? Kickboxing. All right, folks, if you want to get in touch with our Dr. Hoos, right here, you can do that at Brush and Floss Dental Center in Stratford, 203-378-9500 or bettersmile.com. Dr. Hoos, don't go anywhere, all right? I'm not leaving. Okay, very good. Coming up next, everybody, we are going to be talking with, of course, the woman who authored the fabulous book, 101 Glam Girl Ways to an Ultra Chic Lifestyle. When we come back with more Connecticut Style, stick around.